Yeah, go scrappers, just thought I'd show you a bit of my workshop and just how I set it up and how I do my stuff. Um, this is my uh, little workbench that I do my smalls, like telephones, modems, um, all little things like that. Um, also, it's, a, it's my picking station where I partially depopulate boards. I remove things like tantalum capacitors, crystals and oscillators, flat packs, and IC chips and all that sort of stuff. Basically, um, just my little tinkering sort of bench. Uh, I don't do anything heavy in here. Um, yeah, so under here, I've just got a bucket for the DVD eyes. Just, uh, I try and make it as handy as possible. Like right next to me here, I've got a couple of buckets for scrap steel stuff that I'm going to throw into empty PCs. Um, here is basically my little uh, foundry. Got the uh, furnace there, my little little bench where I do my pouring. Um, yeah, and so that's basically that's the workbench. And so I've got junk sort of all over the place, but it's I thought I'd show you right now because it's a good time because. I'm really low on e-waste to scrap. I've got rid of a lot of stuff. I've uh, been working pretty much every day, non-stop, just getting rid of stuff to, uh, yeah, just to uh, have a chance to clear, clear out my workshop and just uh, bring it good again. Uh, that tub there is for silver mylar. Um, that's for braided wire from CRT TVs. I've got my little weighing stations here. So my little scales, I've got my uh, platform scale here, which is 300 kilos. Um, so what's that about? Uh, uh, 660 pound scales. So I buy circuit boards sometimes, uh, motherboards of people. So uh, it's handy to have one of these cheaper uh, uh, platform scales. I think they're really good for the price. They're only about 50 bucks. Um, few oddball buckets with uh, plugs and stuff like that but yeah so that's um, my little you know work area um, inside um, I showed you a video of picking up all those filing cabinets well I've, I've set all the filing cabinets up now and got a few on the other side I'll show you but basically yeah I just wanted to show you all the little things that I my little buckets and bins in case you know someone might be interested in having a look in this tub here it's all ram so this is just where i throw in my ram sticks either laptop or pc lots of ram there i fill up these drums i don't really sell ram so uh, these drums once they're full I, I find them good to uh they're not too heavy to store away and i just can stack up a couple on on top of each other uh, my filing cabinets i'm still working out uh what i want in them but some of them i've already worked out like this one here this is for my ic chips and stuff so i've just got little tubs in here with ic chips ready for gold recovery um, this one is all my flat packs and here I've got uh, BGA chips, the gold corner chips and uh, anything that's that's uh, BGA. And the last one is EPROMs with the glass windows. So I like to keep them separate. You know, how's that for a board? All EPROMs, really nice. Yeah, so I just uh, keep those four separate. Um, other things I use some of these to just store little collectible things in here I got copper copper for uh, for making uh, copper bars and stuff got some candy copper larger pieces uh, even copper heat sinks and stuff this is more for uh, just selling as copper and here I put uh, spools uh, all the spools that need to be uh, unwound taking all the copper off them uh, mostly off uh, TV circuit boards like these little nice little round spools easy to get off uh, because I don't have time while I'm scrapping to 
to uh, get into all of these I just sort of throw them in and when I've got spare time uh, this one this is just a ram that uh, have had the fingers cut off um, still need to be processed but yeah the IC chips are good for gold recovery uh, what else I got not much in there in here I just this is where I keep my tantalum capacitors my MLCC's in uh, larger storage stuff like that so yeah so um, I've got a pretty good system going now and uh, so I'm pretty happy with these uh, filing cabinets and up here is uh, various buckets irony brass um, CCD sensors so you know you're familiar with uh, from the scanners and stuff so I keep all my CCD these sensors separate uh, CPUs build up I like to put them into these little buckets they're a 10 kilo bucket so these are pinless uh, CPU with pins really nice heavy bucket you got the green brown and black fiber CPUs uh, this is just our RAM the silver silver RAM or tin if you like and the RAM bus I just keep these separate to the gold RAM don't like to mix them up uh, this is uh, my you know CPU uh, ceramic CPUs that uh, they, these ones are not part of my collection these are just uh, random ones that I get out of um, CPUs when I fill up this bucket I'll go through see if there's anything um, worth keeping as a collectible and the rest I'll just put aside um, slot CPUs heat sinks uh, what else I got um, this is just incoming where I put stuff as, as it comes in as you can see I've picked up a lot of laptops recently so I've got a, a lot of laptops to do they're really slow I actually got a couple of these um, Apple uh, note MacBooks so and these are actually really good they actually work so I'll, I'll sell them I won't be scrapping them out um, I don't really like these little ones from schools you get these from schools a lot and um, you know they just take a while to scrap out uh, and you've got a small motherboard in there but still it's something PCs and stuff um, what else I got over uh, this side I've got more filing cabinets for oddball stuff that I keep um, this is my gold recovery stuff pins um, gold fingers and ribbon wire and stuff like that that I like to keep for gold recovery uh, I've got another two piles of laptops there it's all up I've got about a hundred laptops sitting around at the moment and this bin here is the only bin that I have inside my workshop it's because I do the small items uh, most of the boards are mid-grade boards so this is a mid-grade board bin and at the moment it's it's chock-a-block full um, so yeah so I've got to empty this bin out you know I've got to replace it with a fresh one and uh, um, but uh, I like to uh, sell these mid-grade boards pretty quickly uh, I only depopulate partially I don't depopulate the whole lot um, just depends on how I feel but yeah so that's the only bin I've got here so that's me inside anyway uh, and when I'm uh, doing partial depopulating of boards motherboards and stuff I have a bin outside just out the door that I can reach into and I can throw motherboards into at the moment it's it's also chock-a-block full so um, time to get rid of some motherboards I've got another bin that's also full um, and then if we can uh, get a bit of bright sunlight so that's the inside of my inside workshop and then this is my outside workshop you can see some bins here and also line of bins around here so this is my main working station it's basically just a dishwasher on its side with a carpet on top um, it's just the right height for me to scrap on and so this is my little area here and a lot of times because it's under cover I can throw 
stuff under here and it doesn't get wet until I scrap it but this is my preferred place to uh, scrap stuff and so I'll just show you uh, how I um, how I do it I try and keep the bins in order so uh, you know I don't waste time going around sorting stuff out so my first little bin this is the only small bin that I keep and this one is for uh, copper aluminium heat sinks and I sell them as copper aluminium radiator rather than you know because you can't really remove that copper so you get pretty good money just selling them as copper aluminium radiator uh, so uh, even like this one here uh, it's got the aluminium fins on the top but underneath this plate here is actually tinned copper and it's solid tin copper plate so also sold this as copper aluminium radiator um, next bin is slot cards so all different types of slot cards that's starting to fill up nicely next bin is finger strip boards from LCD TVs so I like to keep a bin separate for just for them uh, because I don't sell finger strip boards I'm just going to keep them before a rainy day and might process these myself um, this tub here I've got a few of these em empty tubs and what I like to keep with this is uh, DVD boards so just from DVD players and uh, the CD DVD players and the reason why is because firstly I don't sell them and uh, here we only get mid-grade for them and I you know they're really worth a little bit more than mid-grade because they've got the gold pins and um, yeah so I don't sell these all I do with the DVD boards is when they fill up when this barrel fills up I'll just remove it and I'll replace it with a fresh one and I'll seal it away and I'll just keep it for another day this is my um, what's this one this is my uh, power board bin so uh, this is the closest bin outside of my normal working area so when I'm doing power boards I can just you know quickly throw them in and so so when I'm working here on my in my main area those bins are pretty close to me to throw stuff into so I keep all the lids open and here when I'm when I start scrapping all I do is I just flip open all the lids ready to ready to scrap out so you know if you can imagine I'm scrapping stuff I get um, say a scrap servers big server boards I throw them into here and so on motherboards go into this bin as you can see it's chock -a block full so I'll have to empty that uh, this one is for cast aluminium so anything that's cast aluminium go into this bin the next bin is regular aluminium sheet aluminium stuff like that I'll even throw a few cans in there and stuff and this one is for extruded aluminium so you get three different grades here there's probably other grades but these are the only grades that I keep so extruded uh, this is the best value next is the cast aluminium and then followed by the sheet aluminium and here nice and handy is my low-grade insulated wire so it's ribbon wire the very fine stuff uh, coax cable um, and all this sort of uh, data cable this all goes as low grade low grade wire sometimes I can get real big big wads of it so it builds up pretty quick and this is obviously my insulated uh, mid-grade insulated wire so it's the regular stuff <laughs> um, obviously I don't strip this stuff because it's uh, it's not worth stripping really just sell it as it is but mostly it's from either power cords or from insides of PCs so that's another bin there and then over here as I'm working I've got my buckets here which are for uh, motors and transformers uh, ones that aren't worth taking the copper out so they're from DVDs all kinds of transformers so I fill up buckets there it's nice and handy so when I'm scrapping here I've got right here I can throw in transformers straight away uh, this bin here 
inside there is it's mostly it's all different plugs uh, when I cut off fingers plugs of phones video plugs anything like that gold fingers all my stuff goes in here and then I sort it out into the small tubs um, of what here is DVD eyes again uh, I do a lot of DVDs from PCs so I just keep these for 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 some reason uh, here is just a brass bucket so as I'm um, as I'm cutting um, the brass prongs off plugs you know so nice and easy from my workbench I just throw those in same as DVDs so that's how I basically do it got me wire three aluminium bins motherboard bin and server board bin and uh, we also get the same price for um, uh, laptop boards so I put laptop and server boards together um, some places might be different so that's it so here there's seven eight main bins and over this side got them bins and then inside um, is my other small workshop so that's basically my setup this is how I do I pump out a lot of e-waste out of out of this small area um, and yeah I put a little mat down the bottom just to make it better on the feet and so yeah that's all I'm doing a few projects I got at the moment sitting on the on the main bench um, yeah so I just thought I'd show you uh, the little setup and um, maybe give you an idea on how to uh, set up your own if you're uh, you know processing a lot of e-waste you're going to need you know to to have bins so you can uh, take it all the way easy and uh, and but most importantly it's while you're scrapping you know you you just want everything at arm's reach where you can just throw in your aluminium your different types of aluminium as you're scrapping you save me walking around looking for different buckets and stuff um, <laughs> you know it just goes straight in this one's full I know to just uh, wheel it away put an empty one in here and uh, and keep going so that's it that's my little tour of my workshop guys um, uh, don't have much else to say hope you have a little bit of uh, insight to how I how I do things here and um, yeah uh, if anyone wants to come down and help me scrap out some laptops uh, you're welcome to rock up because uh, they're just uh, yeah they're building up a little bit too much at the moment and so all right well keep scrapping guys and have fun and uh, and um, yeah there's more laptops in here actually didn't even I forgot all about them yeah so um, oh and also a pair of also got a this bucket is for my is for hard drive boards and uh, sometimes I buy hard drive boards uh, sometimes I scrap them uh, when the client wants me to destroy the hard drives uh, but otherwise I I like to save my hard drives um, and uh, one day I'll show you my my pile of hard drives I'm trying to build up a ton of them just to see what a ton of hard drives looks like all right well I'll get back to work and um, scrap some motherboards scrap some uh, laptops and uh, yeah I'll catch you next time